Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. How are you all doing today? I hope everybody's doing amazing. So in this video, I'll be showing you another BIOS upgrade, this time a Gigabyte motherboard. So if you want a Gigabyte 550M DS3H motherboard and you're kind of wondering you should uh, upgrade your BIOS or not, or like if you want to upgrade but not sure how to upgrade it, then this video is for you. Okay, the first of all, before you can do anything else, First of all, you have to determine what BIOS version you are currently running. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, just restart your computer. And keep pressing the delete key while it's restarting. Okay, now we are in BIOS. Now we need to figure out what BIOS version we are currently running. So, click, uh, go, just press F2 or click easy mode. And on the left corner, you can see your BIOS version. For me, BIOS version is F15A. So, for depending on your motherboard, uh, it could be different. So, take a note of the BIOS version. Now you can exit out. Okay, now that we have uh, identified our BIOS version, we need to go to like the Gigabyte website and search for the appropriate BIOS driver. Okay, so uh, just go to Google and search for Gigabyte a B550M DS3H driver download and make sure it's the www.gigabyte.com, the, the original manufacturer's website. Go here and go to download and what are you going to go down a little bit and select the BIOS right here. So we can see there was like a nine BIOS update in last two years from uh from 2020 to 2022 so there is a good chance that you need a BIOS update okay so uh normally when uh, like a software update comes out uh the latest update should like uh take care of all the previous bugs um and uh first but since this is a BIOS upgrade like a critical upgrade and doing things wrong could potentially ruin your computer uh, I would suggest you upgrade to the BIOS that is immediately next to your BIOS version like for me uh, my BIOS up, uh, version was F15A and the next update was F15C so I'm gonna download this but if you're on like a F12 the next one is like F13 so whatever BIOS version you're currently running just download the next one okay just just to be safe because uh, there is a little bit of risk involved uh, uh, obviously I'm not an expert but I'm just sharing my own experience uh, so whatever whenever you're doing a BIOS upgrade you should like connect to an external power source uh, because uh, while you are updating and your computer goes out of power you could potentially ruin your computer so remember that Okay, so now that we have like identified what BIOS version we are need, we need. So for me, it was like a F15A. So I'm gonna download F15C. Just add, it's a zip file, so save that file. And uh, once it's downloaded, I'll go to the download folder and uh, right click on it and uh, click extract all, and extract okay now have we have all the files so uh, in this uh, the only file that you need is this B550 of uh, 55 MD uh, DS3H dot 15 C is the 32 megabyte size file so that's the only file that you need among all these okay and now you need an USB drive that is uh, preferably smaller in size like 32 gig or smaller Okay, so anything bigger than 32 gig, uh, then because uh, Windows only lets you format it to F uh, FAT32. Okay, so so if you have a, like a, a just a smaller USB drive, then uh, you're kind of good to go. Just uh, plug that in in your computer, and right click on it, click format, and select FAT32 default. So just start format it. I'm not going to format it, but that's how you should do it. Just do a quick format on it. Now, if you don't have a USB drive that is smaller than 32 gig, what do you have to do? You have to download a software called 
Mini Tool Partition Wizard. There we go. Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Go here and click the home user and click the Partition Wizard free. Click this one and click download. And you're just gonna uh, download this version. Okay. So once you download that, um, I'm just not gonna go through these uh, steps of downloading and installing. It's pretty easy. So after you have downloaded that, that this is a free software. Uh, you can launch Mini Tool. Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Launch that. And identify the USB drive that you are running right here. For me, this is the untitled one. So you're gonna click on this or right next to the disk that you plugged in, and right click on it, click uh, format, and right here you can select it from uh, like FAT32 and click OK. After you click OK, just click apply, and that would that should like format it for you. Okay, so now we are kind of like done. Uh, with uh, USB drive now we need to load the files into the USB drive okay so just copy this file that's all you need control C and go to the drive and control V so now you have the file that you need for BIOS update Okay, so now you're going to restart your computer again. Click restart and keep pressing the delete key. Okay, so once we are in BIOS, what are you going to do? You're going to press F8 or the Q flash right here and you're going to click right here update BIOS. Now you need to find the file. Okay, so it, it has already found it for me, SMI Corporation here, from, from here it's already found it for me and the correct file name is B55MDS3H.15C. Uh, so you're going to select that file, this is the file that you need. Click the next. Are you sure to update BIOS? Click yes. Now it's going to verify if you have the correct file or not. So it has verified that you have the right file. Then press start. Now it's going to update BIOS. So be patient. And this is the crucial time. And this time you must plug in your computer to a secondary power source. Uh, so if you lose power during this time, your computer is dead. Okay, we're done. Uh, it's rebooting. So get into the BIOS one more time to verify that you have actually updated your BIOS. Keep pressing the delete key. Okay, and uh, click the easy mode. And on the left, you can see I have updated my BIOS version to F15C. Previously, it was F15A. Okay, and that's how easy it is to update BIOS on your Gigabyte ds3h motherboard i hope this little video was helpful to you be sure to like and subscribe you have a good day thank you so much for watching